to show two examples of using Bolero to back up and restore applications running in a Kubernetes cluster. So for the first example, I have a Kubernetes cluster running in AWS, uh, and I have a WordPress instance running within that cluster. So if I take a look at the deployments that are running in my default namespace, I'll see that there's a WordPress and a WordPress MySQL deployment running. And additionally, we have a couple of services running, and each of those deployments has a persistent volume claim that it's using uh, as its backend storage. Now, on the bottom here, I have uh, Kube Control port forwarding set up so that I can access the WordPress uh, front end through my local browser. And so if I switch over to my browser, refresh the page, we'll see that uh, Steve's awesome blog is running. And so far, I don't have any posts. So the first thing I'll do is actually create a new post title it hello world and I think I'll say hello from cluster one so I'll go ahead and publish that and if I go back to the front page we'll see that I have a post so now I'll go back to my terminal and the next thing I'd like to do is create a backup of that uh, WordPress application so I'll say Valero backup create and I'll call it WP for WordPress, and then I'd like to include everything in the default namespace. So I'll specify include namespace as default, and then I'll also specify the wait flag, uh, which will just wait for the backup to complete. So I'll go ahead and run that, and Valero is now communicating with the Kubernetes API and getting all the resources running in that default namespace. And it's also looking for any persistent volumes that uh, are being used by the resources running in that namespace. And if it finds them, it should uh, take snapshots of the underlying cloud volumes. So since we're running on AWS, uh, those persistent volumes are backed by EBS volumes. And so we should get EBS snapshots uh, of those volumes. So the backup's completed now. So I'll go ahead and run a Valero backup describe command for the WP backup. And I'll pass the dash dash details flag, which will give me some more detailed information about the backup. Now there's a bunch of output here, but I wanna just look at what's on the bottom. And we see that uh, under the persistent volume section, we have two snapshots that appear. Uh, and we have some information about uh, the snapshot IDs and, and other information about the volumes that are being backed up. So, so far this looks pretty good. So, what I'll do now is I'll actually simulate a disaster uh, by going ahead and deleting the WordPress application from this cluster. So I'm going to say kubectl delete uh, deployment services and persistent volumes that are labeled with app equals WordPress. I'll go ahead and run that. And I'm also going to stop my port forwarding command down here on the bottom. And so these, all of these resources are being deleted now, and that's complete. And so if I switch back to the browser and refresh, we'll see we no longer have a connection. So the next thing I'd like to do is switch to my second terminal window here. So I'm going to click on that. And this terminal is connected to an entirely separate Kubernetes cluster. Uh, it's another cluster running in AWS. Uh, so we'll call this one cluster two. And what I'd like to show you is the backup locations that are configured for Valero running in this cluster. So if I run Valero backup location get, we'll see that there are two backup locations configured for this cluster. And the first one is actually named cluster one. And the bucket that it's pointed to is called Valero backups. Now this is the bucket that actually cluster one was pointed to. And so the backup that we took a minute ago is actually stored in this bucket. And then additionally, I have a second backup location that's called default. And so any new backups that I take from within cluster two will be stored in this backup location. But the important thing is that since we have a backup location configured pointing to cluster one's bucket, we should be able to access the backup that was just taken from cluster one within this new cluster two. And so if I run a Valero backup get command, we'll see that the WP backup, which I just took, uh, is available in this cluster for restore. Now I'll show you that uh, I don't have any deployments 
services or PVCs running in the default namespace apart from the Kubernetes service, which is not part of the WordPress application. So what I'd like to do now is go ahead and restore this backup into cluster two. And ideally, uh, my blog will come back up and we'll have that post that I just created a minute ago. So I'll say Valero restore create. I'll say from backup and give it the backup name, which is WP. And then I'll just specify the wait flag uh, so that we can wait for the restore to complete. I'll go ahead and run that. And so now Valero is pulling down the backup uh, from the Valero backups bucket and finding all of the resources that are stored within it and restoring them into the cluster two. And additionally, it's finding those EBS snapshots that were associated with this Valero backup and it's restoring those to new volumes uh, and then associating the persistent volumes that it's creating here in cluster two with those new EBS volumes. So this restore should take just a couple more seconds to complete. Great, so our restore is now complete. And so now I'll go ahead and look and if I run kubectl get deploy, we'll see that both of my deployments are there. And if I look at PVCs, we'll see that I have both of my PVCs uh, that were just created. And finally, I'll look and see if my pods are up and running yet. And great, so we have a WordPress pod that's now running and that MySQL pod that's running as well. So I'll set up the port forwarding command again so that I can hopefully access the WordPress UI through my browser. All right, and so now I'll switch back to the browser. And if I refresh this page, we get reconnected to Steve's awesome blog, so that's great. And if I scroll down, we have our hello world post. So hello from cluster one. So this WordPress site is now entirely running in cluster two. Uh, we backed it up in cluster one and restored it into cluster two. So that hopefully gives you an idea of how you could uh, either do a disaster recovery into a new cluster uh, running within AWS, or if you simply wanted to migrate a workload of how you can migrate uh, from one cluster to another. So that concludes the demo, and thanks a lot.